श्री चैतन्य पदाबुज मधुपेभ्यो नमो नम कथित आश्रया जेषम साऊपी तद्गंधभाग भवि श्री चैतन्य पदाबुज मधुपेभ्यो नमो नम कथित आश्रया जेषम साऊपी तद्गंधभाग भवि गौर्य गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद जगदगुरु टोल्ड दोज हु आर गोईंग टू गेट द टेस्ट ऑफ अनन्न भजन शी श्योरली दे आर नॉट गोईंग टू फॉल डाउन गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद जगदगुरु टोल्ड दोज हु आर actually getting the taste of ananna bhajan hari katha hari kirtan hari naam those who are going those who are going to get the actual taste of hari bhajan there is no there is no possibility that they can fall down no possibility those who are going to popa speaking those who are going going to look at this material world those who are going to look at this material world with a mood of enjoyment with a mood to get control over whole situation whole world they need power they want to get power they want to subjugate you they like to put you under their control gauriya goshtipati sila bhakti siddhanta saraswati goshtami jagat bhopa jagat guru told paramangsha that those who are looking at this material world with a mood of enjoyment there is beautiful woman there is handsome boy they are so nice those who are thinking this way they cannot do hari bhajan hari bhajan is not for them those who are going to submit themselves unto the lotus feet of sadguru powerful and going to think each and every item of this material world even my body is for the service of bhagwan and guru vishnu if you can think that way in that case you can do hari bhajan otherwise there is no possibility of hari bhajan so by speaking those who are looking at this material world whole world with a mood of enjoyment with a mood to get control over this material situation everything so by speaking it is the topmost bondage for them they are so idiot they are so foolish they don't know uh, they don't know they are so foolish so idiot that don't they don't know it is one kind of tight bondage it is one kind of tight bondage in your life you can never get free a vaishnav is so niskinchan so humble he can get honor from the whole world he can get honor by by bhagwan himself supreme lord chaitanya mahaprabhu can give them honor but still they think we are humble you are fallen soul i am nothing a vaishnav elevated vaishnav is symptom he never want to get control over disciple they always think you are my guru she is my guru everybody my guru that's why they are so humble they don't like to give mantra diksha anything i am very humble i am not elevated i am fallen soul how i can give a pure vaishnav a shuddha vaishnav never try to get control over his disciple even they think they are not my disciple 
They are all my guru. That's why they are Paramahansa. That is why they are actual Paramahansa. Paramahansa, not that I can fancifully, I can fancifully try to get this title Paramahansa. Every day you can see Paramahansa Sandas Baba. I am a beast. You don't know I am a beast. How you can call me? Paramahansa, Sanatana Gosai, Rup Gosai, Jeeva Gosai. We can say tears in the name of Goswamis. How much trouble they took in their life for Krishna Bhajan. What I am doing? I am doing almost nothing. This kind of humble attitude should be there. Acharya, the idealism of Acharya is Sela Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada. He always used to give honor to all disciples, even small disciple. Small disciple. Insignificant. In your darshan, in your darshan, that devotee is insignificant. What is doing? Cleaning temple, this, that. But Popa thing is a great disciple. Popa thing is a great disciple. Because a Sadguru can understand your heart. A Sadguru can understand your heart. Maybe you are long away from me. Maybe you are long away from Sadguru. But Sadguru can look your heart, can see everything. <coughs> Sadguru is such an excellent thing who can control you from long distance by his acharan, powerful, pure acharan. Acharan is so powerful that if you come in front of a Vaishnava who is acharan seal, you can feel fear. If you are kapat, you can feel safe, you can feel sigh, you cannot look at his eyes. So acharan is so powerful. Lecture, anybody can pass lecture. That's not a big issue. That's not a big issue. Popa speaking, if there is shortage of acharan inside you, if there is shortage of acharan inside you, don't go for pitching, idiot. Don't go for pitching to cheat people. Better you can close your door and preach in front of yourself. Try to preach in front of yourself. Don't go that to cheat public, idiot. Whole world going wrong way. Whole world. Nobody likes to speak the truth, absolute truth. Everybody busy with their own advantage, la puya patishta. Baba speaking, if you discover, if you can understand, there is shortage of acharan in your own life. Don't go for preaching. Just close the door. Look your ugly face in front of that mirror. In front of mirror, you see your ugly face. And try to rectify yourself and preach in front of you. That is called Gauriya Darshan. That is called Gauriya Darshan. What do you mean by Gauriya Darshan? Any specific formula? Specific way you can explain? Yes. Gauriya Darshan means the Darshan of Simati Radharani, Gurudev Radharani. Gauriya Darshan means the Darshan of Simati Radharani, nobody else. Gauriya Darshan is the darshan of Simati Radharani. If, if Simati Radharani appear here, kindly, mercifully, then she can speak what, what all Pope are speaking. What all Pope are speaking, what are Bhaktivinoda Thakur speaking, that Simati Radharani, if kindly Dayamai can appear here, to bestow mercy on us, we cannot expect. Because whereas Krishna is like a beggar, Krishna is like a beggar pay, 
Krishna is like a beggar praying for the Kipa of Radharani. Like a beggar, street beggar, street beggar. Krishna praying, you come and give some Kipa on me. This is called Radharani. Gauriya Darshan is the Darshan of Radharani. Gauriya Darshan is the Darshan of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Gauriya Darshan is the Darshan of Prabhupada, Bhakti Siddhanta. Not your Darshan, not my Darshan. Not your darshan, not my darshan. It's not so excellent. But at, at present, we like to we like to bring some garbage here. We like to buy some garbage from outside to make dirty the whole situation. Quality and quantity can never be compromised. Quality and quantity. Quality, if you make compromise with quality, you cannot get quantity. If you make compromise with quantity, you cannot get quality. Limited devotee. The whole world, if I make comb operation, one, two, no percentage can come. I cannot cheat you. I am not sitting here to cheat you. To give you something concrete. To give you something concrete, I know somebody can try to kill me. Somebody try to insult me. I know. Give some allegation, dirty allegation against me. But still, I cannot change my situation, my point. Not 0.001%. I cannot change. Same way. Actually, those who are the honeybees, those who are the honeybees, those who are honeybees who? All of our Gauriya devotees, Guru Bhargava. All our Gauriya Guru Bhargava, they are honeybees. They are not like me. One fly is going to get the taste of stool, you know, one fly. But honeybees can try to get honey from flower. Always try to get up. Honey from flower. That is the duty. So the duty of pure Paramahansa Guru Vaishnava is to get honey for you. And those who are wicked people, they can destroy you. You see so many devotees. They used to hear some conspiracy going on. They like to deviate them from the track. Many countless such situations happening. But I am not feeling disturbance. I am never feeling disturbance. They had bad luck, they like to die, they like to commit suicide. In the name of Hari Bhajan, they like to do something else. I'll let them die, what I can do? I have nothing to do. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Dhakar Prabhupada, Jagat Guru, is the idealism of Acharya Siv, unique Acharya Siv, the Prabhupada. <coughs> Usually in a society, you can find some men, those who think themselves as a leader, very giving, big leader, any society you can, they think themselves as a leader, can control. Popat can realize everything. Popat used to give honor to them, because they like honor. If you want honor from me, I can give you honor, garland, honor. But if you want actual love from me, I can slap you. That is my love. You cannot forget my love. Even after this body, if you live, you cannot forget. So much love I have for you all. How I can show you? You will have to realize it. Popat could realize 
some devotees, so-called devotees, they think themselves as a big preacher. They used to think themselves as a big preacher. They used to think we are the leader of Gauriya Mat. Prabhupada used to say, they are the show bottle. Show bottle, you know, some Ayurvedic shop, you can have big, big vacant bottle. Only level there. Show bottle. Yes, advertisement, show bottle. Nobody can make full of a pure Acharya. Nobody can make full of Prabhupada. Prabhupada can realize they are show bottle of Gauriya Mat. But Prabhupada, no, this disciple who is cooking for devotees or cleaning a temple, is a great devotee. Who is doing some gardening, who is doing some gardening. Maybe you are going to underestimate. <coughs> maybe, maybe you are going to do some underestimate about him. Maybe you are going to do some underestimate about him. Maybe you like to think he is inferior to you. It is your privilege. It is your privilege that you can think you are a great. It is your privilege that you can think you are a great. But you are going to underestimate that devotee who is completely dedicated unto the lotus feet of Prabhupada. He has given everything. Heart, soul, all belongings, all given. But you think yeah, inferior devotee. <coughs> Insignificant. One day, one day, one such show bottle, <coughs> he is going to speak to some about some devotee who is not going, going outside for preaching, Prabhupada not sending him, he is speaking. He is useless. He is useless, not going for preaching, nothing. Uh, some education is there with him. What he is doing whole day and night? This way. Prabhupada, Prabhupada heard it. Immediately Prabhupada Prabhupada shouting like lion. Prabhupada shouting like lion. Who are you? Who are you to pass remark about him? Who are you to pass remark about him? Why you are going to take trouble? Why you are going to take trouble to get control over other devotee? It is your disease. Why you want to get control over other devotees? It is my responsibility. I am acting as Acharya. It is my responsibility. I am acting as Acharya. I can see. I can look for them. What is good and bad. Why you are going to take trouble? Why not you check yourself? Everybody is stunned. Everybody is stunned. Paramvaya Kesha Goshima speaking. Sometimes we have seen very simple devotee doing some garden garden work. This Papa speaking. Where is that devotee? Where is he? Where is he? Papa is asking. He is very simple devotee. In your opinion, he is a very inferior devotee. Where where he gone? I cannot see him. Why? Papa speaking. All other big big devotee. I mean, so called devotee. Those who think we are the leader of Gauriya Mat. They even going to leave Prabhupada, writing all rubbish against Prabhupada, Gauriya Mat. Still, Prabhupada is not anxious about them. Very big educated, very, very big educated as the editor of Gauriya. Big. But when he gone, Prabhupada is not a little bit conscious, hey, not anxious. Prabhupada is not feeling anxiousness. Where he gone? He was the editor of where gone? Huh? Not speaking anything. Oh, ah, like garbage. Gone. A pure devotee is this symptom. If a rich man, billions of dollar money, a pure devotee always thinks is the garbage. Not giving any importance. Can give importance to you, whereas you have nothing. You are helpless because pure guru wisdom can realize from heart can realize from heart the condition of your, you know, 
bhajan, your heart, your submission, pure Vaishnava can realize. We are going to discuss about such a great elevated devotee, such a great, great elevated devotee, about whom I feel sigh to speak because I have no acharan. He used to love me. If I speak this way, it is one kind of advertisement. It is one kind of self-advertisement. If I see, really, Maharaj used to love me. Maharaj used to love me. You don't know, everybody knows. Maharaj used to write me later. This is one kind of advertisement. I like to project myself in front of, see, I am such a big monkey that Maharaj used to love me. Follow. This is one kind of self-advertisement. A pure devotee never like to project himself, like to hide himself. Pure devotee always like to, never like to project himself, or like to hide himself. He used to love me. What? He used to love me. I can hear, okay. But it is so many important to think about the fact that how much love I was, I was you know, ready to give for him. He used to love me. I used to love him. And how much? I used to love you. You used to love me. But how much? You give me the quantity. Submission, how 100% or not? He used to love me, I say. Are why are we are less interested to hear it? He used to love me. I'm less interested to hear it. You speak how much you used to love him. That we are interested to hear. You are speaking uh, self advertisement. How much you used to love him? That is the main factor. A pure boy goes you have seen. They used to love a dog also. Cow, dog, everybody. We have seen Guru Mahal. Any creature. Oh, is you know. So much love for all creature of this world. That is called Vaishnav. Fully dedicated soul. Today is the Avir Bhaktiti of Sila Bhakti Kumu Santagusi Maharaj, my Gurudev. Your Gurudev is uh, Bhakti Sila Bhakti Pumapur Goswami. No, I speak the same. I cannot change my Siddhanta. My Gurudev is Siddhar Goswami Maharaj. My Gurudev is Kesav Goswami Maharaj. My Gurudev is Santu Goswami Maharaj. Because I know Guru Tattva is one and unique, undivided Tattva. Today is the uh, appearance day of Sila Santu Goswami Maharaj. It is my privilege. It is my privilege. He is kindly. He is merciful, so merciful, so merciful. He is going to give me privilege to come up. He is going to give me privilege to come up. Come up. Why are you are falling? Come, come. He is going to give me privilege to come up. Why are you are falling? Come up. Guru Vaishnava, come up, come up in my lap. Your place is in my lap. Why you are going to kick me? Santagusi Maharaj today going to give me privilege to pay Puspanjali and to his lotus feet to come up, not to fall down. It is his it is my privilege. He is going to discover his Abhirbhaptiti. Pure Guru Vaishnav their Abhirbhaptiti is a it's a unique opportunity. Unique opportunity. If we give Paspanjali and remember then and think about their glory, immediately we can go up. Immediately. So much trouble, so much time I can give for reading books and paper, magazine, everything to uh, learn some philosophy, to pass lecture. Better if I submit myself unto Lord Vaisya Gurudev and remember them. It is more advantageous. Shrutas sapungsam suchira samasya 
Nanjosa Suri Virita Artho Tattvat Gunanu Savanam Mukunda Padar Vinda Hideshu Jesham. Those pure Vaishnava going to confine the lotus feet of Bhagavan inside their heart. You will have to think about them, glorify them. If you can do it, then immediately you can successful, come out successful. You need not take trouble to go through Veda for 15 years. You need not take trouble to go through Vedanta to learn Vedanta 10 years. So easy. Very easy. Very easy. Bhagavad speaking, I am not speaking. Shruta sapungsam suchira samasya nanjo sasuri vrita artho tattad gunan sapanam mukunda padar vinda hidesh jeshan. Those who are going to confine the lotus feet of Bhagavan inside their heart, you go on thinking about them, glorify them. Bhagavan can accept you, your seva. That's why. Out of his causeless mercy, he is going to give us the opportunity today to remember his transcendental glories. That is our privilege. But Puspanjali, this meaning I don't know. I think I have some money in my bag, money bag. I can go to market, get some flower and garland and give. We think this is called Puspanjali. All people. Not you, it is not your, you know, fault. It is a fault of your luck. Your luck is bad. That's why you cannot understand the meaning of Puspanjali. Puspanjali means you will have to give, it, give your heart, lotus heart, unto a lotus feet of Gurudev. Puspanjali Flower, if you give, it is not Puspanjali. The name of flower is Shuman. I already told you. You can remember. The name, another name of flower is Shuman. Kushum. Kushum Saravar, you know. In Vindavan, Kushum Saravar, you know. Kushum Saravar means Shuman Saravar. Somebody is speaking Shuman Saravar. Shuman means your pure mind, your niskapat man, your niskapat man. There can be some anartha, but main point is niskapat. You can take your heart as a flower, your mind, heart and speech, all you can give unto a lotus feet of Guru Pāt Padma, Sisila Santo this is called actual Puspanjali. This is called actual Puspanjali. And today, every day I am doing, not today. Not today. You cannot believe me. I am giving Puspanjali to all Vaishnava every day. After my Yannik. Every day I am doing worshipping them. Without them, I am helpless. Every day we'll have to sing Krishna Ita Chaturmukha Krishna that power can come. Whenever you are taking bath, you can go on singing the name of Guru Vaishnava. When doing Tila, go on chanting, you know, Sangsara Dava. Go on, don't stop like Mayavadi. The moment you keep your mind, keep your mouth, stop, finish. Go on speaking, go on speaking. You can. So, actually, everybody think this. Pushpanjali means you will have to give your heart and mind everything. Every day I am doing pushp giving Pushpanjali. All, all darshan of all Bigraha of Bindavan, Govardhan, Radha, every day. Maybe at the time of my death, when I am just going away, still I think Bhagavan can give mercy so that I can remember everything. I can remember everything. I pray to Bhagavan because everything depends upon the mercy of Guru Vishnu Bhagavan. Antime Narayana Srutihi. 
Antime Hari Sriti. You are doing bhajan. At the last moment of your life, if you cannot remember Bhagavan and Guru Vaishnava, surely you, you are a cheater. You could not do bhajan. At the time of living your death, living your body, if you cannot remember Bhagavan, then your bhajan was not perfect. If your bhajan is perfect, you must remember. Bhagavan can come. So nice, nice kirtan. Because we have no time to do kirtan. This kind of kirtan is also prohibited for us to sing. Because people can sing that you are sahajya. Our Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj sometimes used to do. Nice kirtan. Written by some nice devotee. But still, Common man doing this, but we are not doing. Gauriya Kirtan, so many Kirtan we have. So many Kirtan we have. Anyway, today I am going to pay Puspanjali. You believe? I already paid Puspanjali in the morning time. Before dawn, I paid Puspanjali. Until Lotus Pita Santagur Sri Maharaj. And by offering Puspanjali unto the Lotus Feet of Santagur Sri Maharaj, Today I am going to pay Puspanjali unto a lotus feet of Santagushi Maharaj. But believe me, that Puspanjali is going to touch the lotus feet of my Guru Padma. I am giving, you can look, I am giving Puspanjali unto a lotus feet of Santagushi Maharaj. But that Puspanjali is going to touch the lotus feet of my Guru Padma Sila Bhakti Pramathurigushi Maharaj. This is my Guru Darshan. I learned from Siddhagushi Maharaj, Guru Padma. Santoku Sri Maharaj, I learned from them. I am, I am ever indebted. I can never pay. If I can say I can pay to them, then I am idiot, I am Mayavadi. I cannot pay to them. I can never pay to them. So much compassion so much dedication, so much compassion, so much dedication, you know, compassion shown by him to us. And his dedication for Srila Prabhupada. 100% dedication and compassion for all jivas and dedication unto a lotus feet of Prabhupada. One day, some devotee they are asking to Maharaj, Maharaj, we have never seen Prabhupada. We have never seen Prabhupada. You say Prabhupada is so nice, so nice. How we can understand? How nice looking Prabhupada? How attractive? Santagoshi Maharaj laughing. Santagoshi Maharaj is going to give example. You cannot understand. You cannot understand if I speak thousands of philosophy in front of you. You cannot understand the attraction of Prabhupada and how nice Prabhupada was, how attractive. How? Prabhupada speaking, if we, if we put in a room all beautiful ladies, top class ladies, champion in the world, they are going to win the cup, beauty competition. If we put them in a room, and if we put Prabhupada inside, the example, I was wondered too. I was really wondered. Prabhupada speaking, our Santama speaking, yeah, the common sense, so nice intelligence. A champion ladies, all, you know, beauty competition. If you put all ladies in a room, and if you put Prabhupada inside them, middle of them, not touching, but immediately other. If anybody coming, he is bound to look at Prabhupada first. If anybody suddenly coming from outside, if you're looking, he is bound to look at Prabhupada. I was wondered to see how nice example. Really? Has bound so much attraction, Prabhupada. So much attraction, Prabhupada. 
Srila Santu Goswami used to say, I was a very insignificant disciple. Prabhupada Santu Goswami used to say, I was a very insignificant disciple of Prabhupada. Not so much educated. Educated. His edu I already told that his education was done there in Calcutta. After that, Prabhupada said, Radharaman, you need not read any, you lead Shastra, go, do Seva. Yes, as you, as you like. It's a small one. Radharaman, you need not read any, okay, what do you say? Go and do Seva. Okay, yes. Never know. Never know. Prabhupada said, can do it? Yes. Never know. He don't know to speak no. He don't know to speak no. Always yes. Enthusiastic mood. Santu Goswami used to say, I was a very insignificant disciple of Prabhupada. But still, how much love I received, I have received from him. I, I wonder. Sometimes we, Radharaman, now Radharaman can write one article. We can publish in Gauriya. What article? Radharaman, small boy, can write one article about Guru Tattva. Yes. Radharaman writing one article and sending to Gauriya Mart. They are going to publish in Gauriya Patrika. But the editor was surprised to see. There is a Radharaman, small boy, making mistake. What? Eh? Jibe Sarupai Krishna Nityodas. It is originally there, but Santokasim are changing it. Guru Jibe Sarupai Guru Nityodas. He changed. He, in his writing, he changed the words and sending to the editor. Editor was surprised. And he takes the writings to Popat. Popat, look. What he is writing, Radharaman, you are Radharaman writing wrong, you see, Prabhupada reading. Radharaman, Radharaman is a small boy, but Siddhanta is very good. You can publish it, really so. Jive Sarupai Krishna Nita, okay, but who, where is Krishna? We don't know Krishna. Without Guru, without Radharani, who is Krishna? Krishna can cheat me, who is Krishna? I don't know. I know my Guru, the Bhakti Pramod Puri, I know Sid Siddhar Goswami, I can catch them, they are lot of sweet. Don't leave me. I can get Krishna. Who is Krishna? Who knows? Krishna is a cheater. Follow. This way, you know, Popa speaking, exactly. Very nice. Popa was so happy, so happy. You can publish it. Actually, so. Jibe Sarubhai Guru Nitodas. Because we have our eternal relations with Guru. We have our eternal relationship. We have our eternal relationship with Guru. <coughs> we cannot break the relation. You can ignore. You can ignore out of your false ego, but you cannot break. It's the eternal relationship. How we can break? Out of your false ego, you can you know, ignore your relationship with me, but you cannot break. Is eternal relationship there? <clears throat> then Popat was very happy. Popat published. Radharaman is a small boy, but Siddhanta is very good. Now, Radharaman, Popat giving order. All I heard from his lotus lotus mouth. All I heard from his lotus mouth. I was very lucky. To be in the association of Santu Goswami Maharaj, Nanananda Bhava, you know, all big, big devotees, big, big. And after my coming, after that they are going. But till Bhakti Bhartan Sagan Maharaj, Giri Maharaj, eh, Satya Govinda Maharaj, you know, Santu Goswami Maharaj, all big, big devotees. Kesha Prabhu, all Prabhupada disciple. I was very lucky. I don't know why and how they used to love. I don't know, it is not my advertisement. I'm thinking I'm a soul, fallen soul, how they used to. One Giri Maharaj was there. 
one Giri Maharaj, you know, was there in our temple, in the last stage. You know, if anybody doing anything, he become angry. Then if somebody calling is Samal Krishna, you go to Maharaj, Maharaj become angry. I come to Maharaj, and with humble words, Maharaj, what happened? What happened? Nah, actually you see, he is doing this. <laughs> I don't know why. Bhakti Bardhan Sagan Maharaj, he was in police department. So angry, if you do something, you become angry. When somebody calls Samal Krishna, you go to Maharaj, become angry. I go to Maharaj. What happens to Maharaj? He is doing this. He became angry. Then he become pacified. I go to Maharaj and touch lotus feet and in backside and the Maharaj, what just like just like a small child. What happens, Maharaj? What happens to him? What pain? No, you see, he is doing this. Okay. This way I was lucky. Now I'm thinking. This is my vitamin of bhajan, all vitamin. The love of Guru Vaishnav is your vitamin, not money. Follow what I say. One, one day, Sela Popa speaking. Today, Popa in Bhagavad Gauriyamad. One day, Popa is going to declare, today, Radharamana Bhammachari can speak Harikatha, everybody can hear. Ha! Small boy. Radharaman can yes, Radharaman can speak Harikatha. Everybody can hear. All devotees, senior devotees sitting. It's on the small boy. Sitting in a he yes, fearing what I can speak. He remember Popat. And Popat, you know, sitting in the balcony. In a balcony to hear. Santuma is speaking, I don't know Popat hearing. If I see Popat hearing, heart fell, I can do heart fell. I don't know. Oh my God. Popat in balcony hearing. But a rather on is speaking. Rather on with Bandana, speaking Harikatha, nice Harikatha. After the Harikatha is finishing, then Popa speaking. He's a small boy. But speaking all Siddhanta, right Siddhanta. Santumar is singing, I have no information that Popa is hearing my Harikatha. After Harikatha is over, Popa call him in his room and give blessing. Whenever, any seva. Whenever any seva, Popa used to speak, yes, I can do. You can go to Rangoon for preaching to Rangoon, one place, Barma, previous. That time from in our India, everybody used to go. Preaching of Gauriyamat preaching was also there. I heard one small Gauriyamat was also there. He used to preach there, small boy, speaking boldly. Small boy. Whenever if somebody is going to speak argument with, with bold, you know, follow. Nowadays, those who are going from preaching, if somebody is going to ask any question, he cannot give answer. They cannot give. Follow. If you put one question from Jaiva Dharma here, they cannot speak. They cannot speak. Because they are busy with money and position. They are less interested about Vaishnava Siddhanta. We are lucky to have this kind of elevated, you know, Guru Bhargava. We are so lucky. We are so proud. I feel so proud that I am from Gauriya Math. I feel really proud. Like Hanumanji Maharaj. Hanumanji was feeling proud of Ram Lakshan Sita inside. I can cheer my head, Gauriya Math inside. That's why I put this red cloth as a symbol of Gauriya Math. I always put, I am from Gauriya Math. So, you see, those who are making Siddhanta Virot, Wrong Siddhanta, everything. Sila Santagusima used to protest. I can show you later. You can go mad. Big, big society international. Santagusima used to write, yeah, they, are, they are doing business. In later writing. Deva fear. He's speaking so boldly. 
You are so boldly used to speak. I don't like to name. He used to write one letter to one foolish Acharya. He used to speak all rubbish in Nanagar. Santama writing. You think you are a you think you are a big monkey. You think you are a big Acharya, huh? You think you are a knowledgeable personality. Santama writing. Never fear. Huh? Idiot. Those who are kapat, they never used to go to Santa Maharaj. Really? Those who are kapat. Those who are kapat. They never used to go to Santa. Santa Maharaj is fearing. Santa Maharaj speaking. He is going to Bangladesh for pitching. Going this way, not coming to me. He is going that way. He could meet Santa Maharaj. Not meeting. Santa Maharaj, you know, with exclamation, ha, I love them. They like to pass me away. Why? If they come in front of Santam Maharaj, Santam Maharaj can detect their naked picture. You are laughing? I am sitting in Basas and I am speaking. Those copper people, they never used to go to Santam Maharaj. If at all going, Santam Maharaj could arrest them. One, one character, characterless, one characterless preacher, he used to speak Harikatha so nicely. I don't like to name. One day, one day he is coming in front of Santagusi Maharaj in Manton, Behala. I don't like to name because I am not going to criticize anybody. I like to understand the Siddhanta. He is going to enter into Maharaj's room, paying Dhanabad. Maharaj, Dhanabad, ah, where from you are coming? Actually, Maharaj, I, what purpose you are coming to me? What purpose you are coming to me? Actually, I like to take sannyas from you, if you can permit. Yes! Yes! Yes, I can give sannyas to you. You come and, you know, kill me. I can give sannyas to you. I know you, your character. He saw. Maharaj can realize everything. Yes, I can give sannyas to you. Come to me and kill me by strangling of throat. I can give sannyas to you. Characterless. Now at present, everything going on. So tough. So tough. Santamar used to beat his disciple with wooden chapel. Ah! Idiot. Beat, he told me himself. I used to eat beaten with wooden chapel. Used to all oh, you can do again. Oh. This way. He is so strict. He used to declare, those who are sannyasi, those who are brahmachari, if they are not going to follow complete rules and regulation, perfection, then they are fallen. Their coping should be very powerful. Their coping means protection. They should maintain brahmacharya, feel power. If they are going to do some wrong thing, they are fallen. Maharaj used to say. Follow what say. Very often, some devotee, foreign devotee also, Rishikesh Maharaj, was a doctorate. And he used to pass lecture in America. He said, you don't know, long ago, all leave body. He opened one temple in Singapore. Perhaps you heard, you don't know. He and so many devotees. Samal Krishna, can you take me to Santa Maharaj? Yes, Maharaj, I am your servant. Yes, come, up, come on with me. I like to make some interview with Maharaj. I used to go. Santa Maharaj, Ki, can you ask you in Bengali? Why? What for? Maharaj, one Maharaj coming to me. Oh, really? Take him inside, sitting. The Maharaj asking question. And you know, I, he is, that Maharaj putting question, Maharaj giving answer. I am giving answer to him. I mean, interpret. This way, many times it happens so. Some disciple speaking, some big, big devotees, there's nothing you take me there. You know. 
is to I make up my time and go there. It is also seva. One day, our Sagar Maharaj, I used to love Sagar Maharaj. I used to love, he used to love me, the sign of How much he used to love me, you can learn, you can hear from them, their disciple, what he used to say about me. I don't like to speak. It is self as Brahmi. But I used to love him very much. One day, one day, Sila Sagar Maharaj going there to meet, to meet Santogoshi Maharaj. Long ago, long ago. Maharaj, I cannot become Acharya. When our oldest disciple of Prabhupada, who took birth there in Sananda Sukhada Gunju, who took birth in Sananda Sukhada, here, yeah, he took birth, his birthplace is there. I wanted to make some renovation of that place, but they are copot. I wanted to take that place. I say, your place, I cannot take. I can speak Harikatha, they don't allow. Painful. I told them I can take responsibility, give dupa every morning, water. They don't give me. They fear me. In my whole life, there is one complaint against me. It's very tough, nothing else. In my whole life, one single complaint from everywhere coming, as he is very too, very tough. Tough, what do you mean by tough? What do you mean by tough? You can explain the meaning tough. I don't understand. If we follow Prabhupada, automatically we will have to follow in total. So if you don't like to follow, then I cannot make any compromise with you. See, too, bad. Is Bhakti Shamanda Parvat Goswami Maharaj. Bhakti Shamanda Parvat Goswami Maharaj. After he gone, Sagar Maharaj was not so aged. Sagar Maharaj was, you know, around uh, 20, 25, because in small age he came. When he was eight years old, Gurudev took him from home. South, here, Diamond Harbor, one place. What I mean to say, I have no time to speak, so much thing. Sagar Maharaj crying and crying and crying, coming in front of Santuma. Why? Because all opponent party going to beat him. Go, go from here. But Gurudev making him Acharya. Making him Acharya in the same he is appointed and he is small, anyway, young age. It's very character, nice character, so much seva. If old Vaishnava going to pass urine and stool, Maharaj used to clean. You cannot imagine that kind of seva. Old Vaishnava, 90 years, used to pass urine and stool, cannot go to latrine. He used to clean that place. That Sagar Maharaj has do some. I cannot speak. I have se That's why I am st living. I have seen this kind of Vaishnava in my life. I used to stay with them, this bed, this bed. There, Anu Kanupriya Baba Yuma, this bed and this bed used to stay. So all love I can remember. Now still you can go Sham Baba, I can dance. Sham Baba. So much. I don't know why. I am lucky. Still I am not lucky because I couldn't get full keep up on them. Anyway, Maharaj going to Maharaj is going to discuss. Maharaj is going to discuss this matter. Maharaj is going to discuss this topic with Santoguji. Maharaj, what to do? I don't like to become Acharya. I don't like to become Acharya. But anyway, Guru Dev give me instruction. I don't like. I like to appoint you as Acharya. Santoguji, no. So many, so many incidents. When, when our, don't disturb me. When, when our Bhakti Shamanda Parvat Goswami are gone from this material world, then he, Sagarma requests my Guru Maharaj to become Acharya. But the situation was not uh, positive for Guru Maharaj. Because Guru Maharaj used to maintain 
Kalna temple, Kalna, Kalna. Bardhaman Kalna temple. Ananta Vasudev. After that, Bhaktalok Paramahansa Maharaj was appointed Acharya. But still he don't like to become Acharya. Paramahansa Maharaj become very weak, very old. Then he come and complain, Maharaj, everybody like to fight me and throw me for mud. They like to capture the mud. Santamara speaking, don't fear. Don't fear. Guru Vaishnava is there with you. Go there. Let them beat you. Let them beat you. You go there. It is my order. You go and sit. Everything, everything can change. Or the scenery can change automatically. You keep faith in Gurudev. Go. You love your Gurudev. I know. From heart. Nobody can do seva like you. You will have to become Acharya. I give you order. Go. Don't fear. I am with you. All Guru Varga, they are with you. Go. Act as Acharya. Santuma is going to Udala. So much confrontation. Oh, countless, like in my life. Nothing in his life, so many. It is one kind of dream. You cannot remember. You cannot remember. Someday I can speak about him. His Abhirbhati Rav coming. I used to go to Balesha. But now at present I don't go. Go mad. This kind of seva. Can you imagine? This way, Santama is giving order. Really so. He is going to sit in Asan by the order of Gurudev and by the order of Santama, everybody. All confrontation going on. Finally, he got victory. He was successful because Seva is a victory. Follow. Money is not victory. Seva can give you victory. He is successful. Up to last moment, he was the Acharya of Udala Mat. Udala Mat. Popat, very long ago, Popat went there for preaching. That place, Urisha. That place, Mayurbhanj. That name is name of that place in Mayurbhanj. Mayurbhanj, you know, Mayurbhanj. That place. The king of Mayurbhanj, he gave big amount of land. To Parvat Goswami. Anyway, I don't. This way, he used to give order. I was crying when so much politics and you know confrontation gone in my life. I was almost helpless, but still I believe my Guru Maharaj is there. From Surya Kundo, almost forest. Gokul Mahab, almost forest. Night time, you can face jackal. This. They used to Radharani mid-time lila, eh? Madhupan, mid-time, mi, midday lila, midday lila, Radharani doing Madhupan Sujo Gujo Kala. I wrote one letter to Santo Maharaj. I explained everything, painful situation at present. Though I was doing seva there, but still that seva I was not satisfied. Because I wanted to do Seva Prabhupada, 100%. I was giving Seva there. I was speaking Harikatha, but Jovasi, they don't understand Siddhanta. He used to go for Madhukuri Viksha with bag. This way I used to do Seva. But that Seva, those who are big, big Vaishnava, they chide me. They say, it is your Seva. What you are doing? What I can do? You have to go. You have to go. Do your seva, what your Guru must give you. How I can do everywhere politics. They like to fight with me. No, you go. And Santo Maharaj, I wrote one letter. That time Santo Maharaj was in Keshiari. That letter is still there with me. In Bengali, that letter is still there with me. It was published in his, I know, magazine. When Maharaj lived body, that's why in Bengal, in magazine, in Devananda Gurimad also it was published. In magazine. Maharaj giving me, I speak everything, all about the painful situation. 
Ma speaking, don't fear. He write miracle. He is speaking. You will have to do Sampradayak Seva. Sampradayak Seva? He wrote in letter. I wonder, Sampradayak Seva. I am a very small man. How I can do Sampradayak Seva? He will have to do so many Sampradayak Seva, this, that, giving, giving order to me. I was wondering, how I can do Sampradayak Seva? Small man. I am a beggar, street beggar. Nothing. It came true in my life. Bharti Maharaj, Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Maharaj, shouting, speaking. This is the seva upon big Acharya. It is the seva what you are doing. Protest, everything, rectification, Siddhanta. It is the seva of big Acharya. Bharti Maharaj told, Bharti Maharaj. Bharti Maharaj told. It is the seva of a big Acharya. I don't know, Bhagavan arranged. But everybody jealousy with me. Everybody jealousy with me. From Vindavan, one so-called devotee, writing, Shambhava, no bhajan? Why he is writing this letter, this, that? Why writing books? Is, eh? He has no bhajan? <laughs> Bharti Maharaj laughing. What do, you, what, do you, what do you understand by bhajan? Just two days ago, he is showing one letter to me. I was wondered to see. In the name of Baladev Ras, he is writing all rubbish. Then again I am giving answer. In the name of Baladev Ras, he is putting all rubbish Siddhanta. He is putting the name of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. He is speaking, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami, Popa told this. I say, idiot number one, you come to me and show where Popa told. Speaking lie. In the name of Popa, they are speaking lie. And writing, and they have big money, money power. All over the world, this Siddhanta Vijaya, they are preaching. How I can, I am alone. I am alone, nobody there, no, nobody in the world. Only Nithyananda Balaram, nobody. Because they know, if they come to me, they will have to sacrifice their life. Better, they don't come to me. Writing all rubbish. They are speaking so rubbish, if you hear, you can take your chapel and put on, on the face of that, uh, you know, so-called devotee. Is devotee? Brahmachari? You can beat with the chapel. He is writing, the group, Gopika, all Gopi. All the Gopi, Gopi is, they have some group. Actually, Krishna group of, group of Gopikas of Krishna separate. And the group of Balaram is totally separate. It is written. I can show you. Popa is writing commentary. But he is writing that with the Gopikas of you know, Krishna, Baladev doing Rasa Leela. He is writing this. He is giving the name of Balaram, you know, Popa. Nobody giving answer. Everybody giving, collecting money. Foreign, foreign, foreign. Collecting money. Billions of dollars. Money power is the best power. Money power is the best power, no? It's very good. Police department can come under by control. Political department can come under by control. All devotees can come under my lotus feet. It's very good, money power. It's the easiest procedure. To grow bhajan power and speak about that absolutely very tough. Maybe in infinity period they cannot do. Maybe in infinity period, those who are doing this, going to dist, you know, distort it, Siddhanta Bichar, they cannot take human birth. With Ganga water, I say, they cannot take human birth next life. They can be become beast. Life after life, they can become beast. They cannot take even human birth. Those who want to cheat people in the name of Hari Bhajan. In the name of Hari Vajan, those who are going to cheat, they cannot take even human birth. They would be punished heavily. Let them enjoy this life. Money, woman, eh, enjoy life. Let them enjoy. Next life, I promise you. This way I wrote later. Maharaj give me blessing. In a letter. I don't know how. Even when I come and started writing here, 
in Godroom, from Vindavan, I take everything and come here. I have not even a pot in which I can cook rice. You cannot believe. You, you are laughing. Not even a pot in which I can cook some, I bake some rice from outside and cook. I have no pot. One old Mataji, very old, he gave one pot. This way I start my, you know, writing. There is no current, nothing, no, not, no facility. I start writing. And now you see so much books and papers, and I, so much articles here, here and there, I cannot count. By the mercy. It's the mercy of Santagoshi Maharaj. I think it is the mercy of Santagoshi Maharaj. Many people come to me to take diksha from me. I am in Basasan. I send them to Santagoshi Maharaj. You go, you go to Santa Maharaj. He is a guru. My guru Maharaj gone. I will, you go. Santa Maharaj was in coma state. They say actually the diksha, this kind of diksha is not possible, but still I send them. What to do? I am not elevated soul, I am fallen soul. They go. This way, <coughs> all the all the forecast, predict of Santa Goswami Maharaj came true in my life. I was wondering, I was thinking about the lotus feet of Santa Goswami Maharaj, who you are, what is my relationship with you, how you love me so much. I am a fallen soul. What is the relationship between Guru and Sisha? What is the relationship? What is the unique relationship? What is the unique relationship between Guru and Shisha? You know? You have no idea. Material idea. What is the unique relationship between Guru and Shisha? You don't know. You can learn from Santogoshi Maharaj. One of his disciples, his name is Shagar Maharaj. He used to maintain. Karakpur, Karakpur, Karakpur Mat. He was the in charge. There was some disease in his body. Disease. Some disease. Operation to be done. He writing one long letter to Gurudev. I think this operation cannot come out successful. I will have to leave my body. So I am going to give you all in details about the deity ornament to wear how much money I keep there in bank, how much there, even one single penny, all account you send in a big letter. Shantama reading the letter and blasted into tears. Shantama reading the letter, old age. <coughs> Shantama reading the letter and blasted into tears like mad. How you can say you can leave me? How you can say you can leave me? How we can become so merci merciless? Really so. When operation was done, he was bound to leave body. He was bound to leave body. Operation was not successful. When the information came to Shantagoshi Maharaj, like one small child started crying, like small child. If you see, you can go mad. You cannot even imagine. At present, what is the relation between Gurudev and Sisha Mani? You, how much donation you can give me? But I have relationship with you, not like that. Even if you are penniless, still I love the same. Not that. I have discrimination. My yardstick of my love is not money. This way Maharaj started crying like a mad. Like a small child started crying, burst it into tears. As if he is as if he is going to leave body with disciple. <coughs> as if he is going to leave his body with disciple. <coughs> this is the situation. Nobody can stop him. They leave water, prasadam. Finally, what happens? Somehow, actually, this relationship is not Maya relation. You can think Maharaj is crying like Maya. No, it is not Maya. It is actual love. Separation, not bearable. 
impossible to bear. That's why. <coughs> Shanta Maharaj making one picture of his disciple, Sagar Maharaj. He was not handsome looking, very ordinary looking. Making one picture of Sagar Maharaj and putting in his desk, Shanta Maharaj, an old age, you know, sleeping, na? old age, na? 99, 95, you know, in the bed, like my Guru Maharaj, in bed, in a hop, sitting and looking at Sagar. You go on leaving me. You have given me punishment. Looking at disciple every morning, when get up, look at Popat, look at his disciple, you see the relation, sweet relationship. He, now you can understand the sweet relationship between disciple and guru. So long you have no information about that. Up to today, I know. What a sweet relationship you have with your guru. One day, that Udala Sagar Maharaj, I don't like to speak because time is limited. You are not giving me time sufficient. Also, you can, cannot digest. If I speak what I told you, speak me. You forget what you told. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Idiot, na? You cannot speak. You have to repeat what I told. Then I can love you so much. Follow. More. I love you, but more I can love. Actually, Sila Sagar Maharaj, one day going to meet Santu Goswami, old age. Santu Maharaj then old age. Maharaj speaking with Sagar Maharaj. <coughs> All speaking with Sagar Maharaj. Sagar Maharaj, what happens? How you are maintaining? Maharaj, by your mercy, somehow I am maintaining. Everything okay, na? I told you, na, go and sit. By the mercy of Guru, they all scenery can change. Those demon can always try to fight with pure vision. It's a history you go. Even with Krishna, they want to kill Krishna. So it is not new. I can speak uh, when Ramanuja, Abhirbhav, Tirobhav, Mata, you can say, oh, it's, a, you know, they like to kill pure devotee. They feel disturbance. Like one ghost, when you speak Harinam, Hare Krishna, Ram Ram, they become, ah, why speaking Ram Nam? Became angry. One ghost, I went to Delhi to drive him. <laughs> it's a long history. He became very angry. See, yeah. Yeah. it's a long history. You can go there, still people can remember me. He stopped Koilas. Maharaj, after that, that ghost not coming again. <laughs> and that ghost gone. <laughs> How much, you know, <laughs> Govardhan Parikama Phal, Upabas Rezal, Govardhan Parikama Rezal, so many things I give to that ghost. Still after that, like, kill me. Are you come, challenge, kill me. Huh? I can kill you, yes, come, kill me. Let me see. <laughs> so ghost always, you know, those who are doing business with ghost, they can become ghost. Next slide. Those who are doing business with ghost, they can become ghost. Next slide. This way. They are going to, they are going to destroy their own life. Like one ghost cannot bear the name of Ram. If you say, Jai Sri Ram, ha! is speaking Harinam, become angry. Cannot bear. Ghost. That's why when actual Harikatha going on, they become feeling disturbance. Hey, stop Harikatha! Stop Harikatha! Why? They cannot be here. What I have done? They cannot be here. Because they don't know. If they hear this kind of Harikatha, the whole world can revive. I promise you, after my death, now I know, due to influence of some group, Harikatha not spreading so much. But after my death, it's time coming, people can hear Harikatha. They can say, it's actual Harikatha. They can speak. Now they can fight with me. They are taking the help of black magic. They are taking the help of all dirty things. Everything they are doing. This is their bhajan. This is their bhajan. So dirty, I feel shy to speak. Santok, our... Sagar Maharaj, finally speaking, Maharaj, nobody likes to stay in temple. 
Nobody likes to stay in temple, nobody likes to follow rules and regulations of temple. What to do? What I can do? Santamana speaking real, they can stay in temple. How they can stay? Santamana is giving answer in a joking manner. Santamana says, you don't know the procedure. Actually, all Brahmachari sannyasi can stay in temple. You can remember, I told, Bal Bal I can rise Balam Chal and ghee. You know, that day I was speaking. Santama was speaking, for each and every Brahmachari, you can give one woman and money. They can stay in temple. Ho, 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 we are laughing. Yes, you don't know the procedure. For each and every Brahmachari in sannyasi, you can arrange one young girl. They can stay in temple. Who told? Cannot stay? We are laughing. Ho, ho, Maharaj speaking in this way. So a joking answer. Sagar Maharaj laughing, we are laughing. This way Maharaj is giving answer. Follow, now time cannot permit, but to see. One day, all, especially Akadashi day, especially Akadashi day and Dadashi, Maharaj used to speak Harikatha in Manton. But all other time, old man, na, some is coming, and so many, dis, so many people hearing Harikatha in Bihar. So many times my Harikatha was there. <coughs> Harikatha going on. Some Mataji came, coming with a small boy. The small boy, ah, Mataji, you are coming here with a small boy to disturb in Harikatha. Go. Go. You can come alone. Harikatha, disturbance you cannot do. <laughs> they are speaking. Naturally, Harikatha's flow going on, na? but sometimes no way. Some small girl, some small boy, grandmother taking one small boy, grand, grandson with, with her and coming to Harikatha. Is sitting. The small boy is very sincere. He here in Santamaraj was attractive with turban and this there, Santamaraj singing. Santamaraj is speaking very plain way. Not like me, complicated way. <laughs> I am speaking very complicated way. Maharaj speaking very plain way. Uh, the small boy also paying attention. In Akadashi day, he'll have to observe first thing. <clears throat> he'll have to take, at, at all you can take uh, fruits and flower, water. They can take. The small boy, remember. Harikatha hearing. After all, Harikatha is over, the small boy gone to home. After the small boy, very small boy. And after next Akadashi, next Akadashi, they in their home, mother and everybody cooking rice. The small boy saying, We went to Santokoshi Maharaj. Maharaj told Akadashi day we must observe and fasting. Why you are cooking rice? This I cannot take. You are cooking rice? Maharaj just told that Harikatha to take flour and fruits, everything, everything. Then grandmother chiding, that idiot. Foolish boy, we are going to hear philosophy from there. Why should he carry all instruction of mud to our fam family life? Instruction of mud, instruction what we are getting from mud, we can put in mud. And we are bleeding your family life, it is separate. And then mud. The small boy is speaking, Maharaj giving instruction. Why? But no, what we are hearing in mud, we can keep in mud. We cannot keep it home. It is contamination. <laughs> the small boy speaking, but the grandmother, 80 years, idiot number one, she cannot realize. The small boy realize, you know. This way, I like to speak so many things about Maharaj, but time cannot permit, excuse me. Time cannot permit. I like to speak with full enjoyment, but time cannot permit. So, we beg for pardon if any offence done. We are begging for kripa from Sila Bhakti Kumud Santogusi Maharaj from heart, craving request. Please give some kripa from eternal world. Sri Chaitanya Padam Bujo <coughs> Sri Chaitanya Sri Chaitanya Padam Bujo Madhupebhyo Namo Namaha Kathanchit Asrayat Jesam Sha Opi Tad gandho bhag bhavet, vancha kalpa dharvasya ke paas sindh bhavish, pati tanang pavane pavishna bhyo namo namo.
try to hear with full enthusiasm. Remember, whole Harikatha. Bhagavan can find some solution for you also. Don't cry. 